Do you have a machine on your shop floor that can make these two very different parts? Now, Michael, what materials are they? And just explain to the audience why these might need two very different machines. Hey, Rowan, let me tell you something. You see these parts? For you, it looks like big parts, but it's for the, our customer, Neumann and Esse here, probably one of the smallest parts that they're doing on our machine. And if you see our machine, we have always a problem or an issue with the facility about the dimension that, that the machine can have. And it is the height and also it is the, the area where the machine has to fit in. Absolutely, I mean, you look, we've got a brand new Boss VTL25 behind us. Let me show you one thing. We designed this machine customized for the customer. It has to fit on the sides as I told you, but also to produce these kind of parts, which are very different. We've got cast iron, we've got stainless steel, round parts, square parts. Um, you need to have, what do you need? We need to have special hats always to produce all these uh, different parts that we have on our machine. And as you can see, we have a head changer in not on the x-axis, on the side of the machine. And this time we have now the head changing system in the y-axis integrated. That means we fit into the hole that the customer gives us so that where the machine has to produce, yeah? Here you can see the five different heads that we have. So you've got a five axis head at the start here and you can't exactly. see them because they're all inside a big casting. You've got two different kinds of turning heads, you've got a boring head, or is it three different turning heads? Exactly, we have three different turning heads and two different mill and drilling heads. And those okay. allow you to do round parts like this piston we've got in front of me here. Exactly. And then the, the kind of more, more flat milling and drilling type parts that we've got in the cast iron part back there. Yep. And, and normally, where would the, let's, let's go back outside yeah. and have another look at the, the, the size of the machine. Where normally would the head changer yeah. be? See, normally you will have the head changer on the right or on the left side. But as you can see, we need also, the customer need also space to store the parts 24 hours before he's put it on the machine. And you imagine this could be filled with pallets of maybe five, 10 pistons you might need to get out because these guys are making products, they're running a production line. You've got to get the parts out as soon as possible. Exactly, yeah, that's exactly what you're saying. We need to have the space and also we need to have a tool changer with a robot to so be very flexible. That's the next thing that we will show really, you. You're leading okay. the way. I love it, Michael, okay. lead the way then. That's <laughs> it. He's, he's, he's making this, this interview us. very easy. He's making my job very easy. But what's special about the tool changer, Michael? Yeah. Oh, look at this fantastic tool changer as you see here. We have 120 <laughs> pockets right now, yeah? And you are able to increase it or reduce it. Depends which tool you will bring inside. Bigger, smaller, yeah? Then you can increase the numbers of tools. And you have this KUKA robot that is very easy to teach for the customer. It's maintenance-free because nothing is moving, just the KUKA robot. And it's very easy to teach him after one year, whenever it's necessary, okay? I've never seen a, uh, a robot actually as a tool changer. Normally, it's kind of a, you've got kind of a specialist mechanical system that you guys have designed. And with that comes complexity yeah. and comes it's difficult to extend. And I love the fact that you've got this, this static tooling. Yeah. It's really simple. You, just, you could even almost just bolt some new bits of fabricated steel yeah. with some extra pockets, teach new positions. Yeah. And you've got another 50, 50 tool pots. Yeah. See, Ron, this type of tool magazine is coming more and more. Yeah, if you use a chain and you have 120 tools in this chain, it's a lot of the weight that you take. And you got on balance down. in the tool uh, change as course. well. But here always you just handle one tool. That's the reason why more and more customer who has such complex parts, yeah, and need so many tools for the tool, for the process to machine the parts, is that they want to have a robot tool magazine. Yeah, you just handle one tool, 20 kilos, 30 kilos, whatever it is, instead of moving the whole change. Absolutely. And if you look at some of the tools that they're using here, they've got lots of specials, lots of big heavy boring bars, lots of big drills. I mean, look at the size of that drill down there. Nice one, Dave. You just spotted that. I mean, look at the size of these. Quite a lot of these you would have to hand load. And if you do that, you're taking extra time in the process. And with these big parts, time is of the essence. Exactly, yeah. I mean, also, the loading process is very clean. Look, where we stand right now here, yeah? The operator stands on a clean area. You have four pockets. You just bring the tools in and close the door and then start the process of the roboter. It's reading with the chips, yeah, what kind of tool is in and bring it into the process. Easy as, and because you've got the, the, the RFID chip, you know what the tool length is, what the tool diameter is. You don't have to worry about setting the tool pots. I guess you could then have random access if you wanted to, to save even a bit more tool time. Exactly, yeah, that's uh, also something that for the operator, when he's starting the program, he knows exactly all the tools, all the database uh, he needs for the process that the machine needs. 
is on, in the machine, in the control, in the program. And if you could speak right now, if you could sum up to a, maybe a potential customer, someone who's watching this and thinks, well, I've got a limited space, but I need a big machine that can multitask like this machine. How would you try and convince that customer, in, in, a, in a word, what Boss can do for them? So, Boss, we look at uh, the circumstances that we have, and then we design the machine around your circumstances. The facility, the process, the parts, everything what you need, feel free to tell us and we design the machine around your part and your necessities.